Sunny Sunshines, it's Christy, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm so glad you're here. So when I started my channel four years ago, I thought it was going to be a vlog channel, and I did all of these car chat type vlogs, and I was looking at old content the other day and was like, I loved filming those. Why did I get rid of them on my channel? Um, so you'll have to let me know if you like these, but I thought I would just take it back old school. I like to throw a different video at you every once in a while, and so I thought I would just take you along on my day. With COVID, I only would go out once a week and do all of my errands all in one day and be really careful with my mask, my hand sanitizer, and all of that. As people are starting to be vaccinated, more and more. I've ventured out twice a week for a couple of weeks. Uh, my husband's eligible to get his vaccine, but I am not yet. So hopefully very soon and I can get out just a little bit more. But I thought I would just take you along on my day. I've got to go to the PO box. I have some mail from subscribers. I thought we would open that. Uh, we might open a subscription box over here. I need to figure out dinner. So I might take you along with that. Um, I need to go to the nursery because I bought a, a pot and I need to plant for it for a specific area in my house. I have a couple things I bought that I'll show you. Got to run to Target. So come along uh, on my day. You know what? I'm going to take this off because it might get annoying during the day. This is that air freshener from uh, the Wicked Bayou Candle Company. This was from their uh, February box. These smell so good and everybody that gets in my car is like, what is that incredible smell? I love that box. I haven't opened it yet for March, but it should be um, in the works. So come along with me. I think I'm going to head to the PO box first. So I will show you what's inside. Hang on. Also, you guys, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. We'll talk about Skillshare a little later in the video. I am loving it though. I'm taking so many fun classes and I'm excited to share what I have been learning. Here is my box. And it looks like I just got junk mail today. Oh, I love this catalog though. Cool. Okay, so as you saw in that clip, I only got um, a catalog. One of you lovely subscribers sent me some Johnny Was masks. I love those masks so much. We still use them. So thank you so much um, to you for those. Um, but now I get the Johnny Was catalog. The stuff in here is so stinking cute. It's so my vibe. So I can't wait to look through that. But I did grab some subscriber mail. I haven't done a mail time video in a while. So I thought we would just incorporate it into here. And I wanted to say, Stacy, I got your St. Patrick's Day card. I have already opened it. Actually, it's right here. It was so cute. So thank you to you for that. Kathy, I got your thank you note and I got your Valentine's Day card. I've already put those away. Other letters, I have one from Amy Hayes. I don't want to show your address, so I'll turn them over. I forgot there's a package over here too. Okay. Oh, this is a handmade card, which is are my favorite. All right. And this one just says, I want to thank you so much. Oh, she won a giveaway. She won, um, I can't remember if she won. I think she won the Instagram um, $25 PayPal. And she sent me a little thank you note. You don't have to send me a thank you note for a giveaway, but that's so nice. Thank you and congratulations, Amy, for that. If you guys like those Instagram giveaways, let me know down below. Um, and then I got something from Jennifer Roberts. I can show you the front because her address is on the back. It's a cute little pink card. I love getting mail from you guys. So thank you if you um, you send it anytime. And she sent me a typed note. Um, <laughs> I wanted to say thank you. I'm one of... I'm one of the weird ones and I'm not on social media, even though I've watched all your videos. I'm not going to read her whole note, but I will read it in a minute. So thank you so much um, for sending this. I do appreciate it. I just love the little pink card. So thank you, Jennifer. And then I have a little box here and this is from Tammy Shepard. She sent me something. I feel like I smell something in here. Look at the cute tissue. It's all sparkly. Oh, what is this? Okay, hold on. She wrote me a note. And she said, My name is Tammy Shepard. I watch your YouTube unboxing channels almost every day. Thank you. I enjoy it very much. I know you said in one of your unboxings you had um, a wax warmer and we're using it a lot. I do the same. I melt wax and candles every day and love them. 
I have so much wax. Oh, I wanted to share some with you. Thank you. I am genuinely loving my wax warmers. Love them. So she sent me this one. It's called Bumble Bag by Bumble Bag and it's First Kiss. I knew something smelled good in here. Oh, this smells good. It's from the American Made Wax Company. Oh my gosh. She sent me so much. Then she got, this is called Melded. Silky smoked vanilla and orange sherbet. Marshmallow balm with a dash of caramel. Okay, you know my scent profile so well. Oh, that smells good. This smells like fresh baked like pie. Yum. Okay, and then in here is the Handworks Copycat Lemon Curd. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited for this, you guys. This is too much. And then she sent a Misty Mountain scented one. This sounds like it would be really good too. Mmm, this kind of smells pine and clean man. Yes, please. That sounds delightful. And then there's a little bag here with a little heart. Wow, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you so much. This is a Cupid is Stupid. I gotta look up this Handworks Wax Company. Oh, this smells good too. This smells like dessert. Ah, love it. It says love. And then, wow, there's two more. Handworks, A Visit from St. Nick. This is Sugar Plum. I'm just surprised, I guess, by how much throw I get from my wax warmer. Sometimes a lot more than I do a candle. Um, and then she sent me two more um, from these Handworks Wax. This is the Magnolia and Orange Blossom. And this is New York Nights. I want to smell this New York Nights. Can I open it? I don't know if you have to crack it. Hold on. There we go. Hmm. This is very interesting. It's very clean. I can't describe this one. Oh, it smells really nice. It's light and it kind of smells like clean laundry. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for all of these. That was such a treat. I genuinely will burn these, not burn, but melt them. And I love them. So thank you so much to you guys that ever send me mail anytime. I do genuinely appreciate it. Okay, so now I think what we're going to do is go over to the nursery. So I have a console um, under my TV in the bedroom. And like, here's the console. Last night, it was piled like this. It becomes our just throw everything on it type of place. It's just such a junk collector and I'm tired of it. So I cleaned about 95% of it off last night and I picked up a couple things at Kirkland's last week. I will show you those, but to go with them, I found this pot from Target. It's like ceramic. Um, it was $12.99. Here's my receipt. I got to um, put this receipt through my... Um, fetch rewards to get my points. If you don't know about fetch rewards, uh, you literally download the app, you scan your receipt and it gives you points and you take your points and you literally just convert them into gift cards. Target, um, Amazon, Chili's, Sephora, all your favorite stores. So I'll put my information down there below. I talk about this on Instagram a lot, but you just download the app and if you use my link, um, or my code, I have a little code, it's gonna give you $2 off when you scan your first receipt. So I'm not gonna talk a lot about that, but um, I got this pot, it was $12.99. So I got a big like jar and it's got rope around the handle. So I thought this would tie in with that jar. And then I got this big bowl that's similar and I got some like ball things to go inside. So I'm gonna try and decorate that area. And I thought um, this would be pretty with a little bit of greenery. I don't have the greenest thumb and that area doesn't have a lot of natural light. So normally I just go to the grocery store and buy a plant, but I'm thinking if I talk to one of the nursery workers, maybe they can help me find something that's a little more hardy. So that is where I'm gonna go and find something. Isn't this pot so cute? I just love it. It's from the hearth and hand collection um, at Target, the Magnolia collection. I will link it below in case you're interested. All right, so let's go to the nursery. All right, I'm back in the car. Let me hand sanitize my hands. PSA, if you are in a store anywhere 
the post office, a restaurant, the store, and you have to take a phone call, don't talk so loud that the entire nursery knows everything that's going on in your life. Like the nursery is this wonderful place with all these beautiful plants and flowers and this calm music. And this lady is on the phone. Like I knew everything that she was annoyed at her husband about. Why her friend didn't come to a small group. I don't know what was going on, but it was a little, a little distracting. So PSA. If you have to be on your phone, excuse yourself or tell your friend you'll call her back later. All right, so this is the plant I ended up getting. I don't know if you can see it. It's so pretty. It's got a zebra-like look. They're calling it a Calathea. Um, it's a medium light plant, so I may have to once or twice a week just run it into my sunroom really quickly and um, give it some light. But I think for now it's going to be fine. And I think it's going to be really pretty in this little pot. All right. I did a Target pickup order last night. So I'm going to go over and pick that up. Although I do have to go in the store because I want to pick up some glasses. I bought some glasses at Target um, probably a year and a half ago. And we really like them. It's hard to find glasses that aren't super heavy. And so the ones from Target work and they're really budget friendly. However, they're not heavy because they're a little bit thin and some of ours have broken. Uh, look, I love my teens, but I didn't seem to raise gentle children. They seem to be bulls in china chop shops and some of them have just broken. So um, they're Emma's actual favorite glasses. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace them because um, I like the idea of having glassware, but you know, when it's so heavy, when you get a beverage in there that you, you're getting an arm lift, it's just a little much. So. I'm just going to go replace them. All right, success at the Target. The employees were so nice. There was nobody talking on their phone and being annoying. Um, I did find my glasses. These are the glasses. You get six of these tall glasses and six of the short glasses for $10. So honestly, if they get broken, it's not that big of a deal because we haven't put that much money out. So those will kind of fill up um, my cabinet. I got some Neosporin. And then I picked up, I have that meal planned this week, which is so bad. Um, so we're gonna have chicken fajitas. We haven't had those in a few months um, and it's it's so good. You just take some chicken, you can do steak, you could do the pre-cut Tyson chicken. You do some peppers. Actually, I think I might've done this on a vlog once before. You take an onion and I do avocado. I don't, I do the avocado at the end, but you take the peppers, the onions, cut them all up, just do a rough cut. They don't have to be pretty. Put the chicken tenders all on a sheet pan, sprinkle them with taco seasoning, then run a little olive oil over the top, throw it in the oven, and boom, dinner's good. And it's pretty healthy because it's got all the vegetables. And then we, some people will eat it on like a wrap, and I don't, I don't eat it with the wrap. And then I will take some avocado and chop up and put on top of mine. Um, but that's really, really easy and everybody loves it. My family loves peppers and onions. And then I think tomorrow I'm gonna make, I, I believe I have all the ingredients. I'm gonna make that smoky lentil and sausage soup. I think I've made that on my YouTube channel before too. When you've been on YouTube for four years, it feels like you've done all the things. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna make that tomorrow and it makes enough in the crock pot for two days. So that should get me through <laughs> Wednesday and then I'll just have to figure out the rest of the week. Oh, I also picked up this. So I got an ad from Winky Lux on my text and I guess I probably signed up for their text to get a discount when I ordered something from Winky Lux. So now I get their text and they popped up with these pH balanced lip glosses. I don't know. One is in grapefruit and one is in raspberry and you're supposed to use them and they take the pH of your skin or your lips and they are supposed to be the like perfect color for you. I don't know. I think these things are so gimmicky and fun, but I am going to be trying these over on my Instagram story. Instagram stories are kind of like this particular video. A lot of times I'm, I'm in the car when I'm talking or showing you what I bought or talking about decorating. So if you like this kind of content, you'd probably like my Instagram stories. And they're only good for 24 hours, but you can go back and watch old ones if you hit, I think it's the new tab. Um, anyway, so go over there and follow that. Now, this is funny. I started my weight loss journey um, 
three and a half weeks ago, I'm gonna drink some water. And I was doing really well. I was exercising every day, I was eating right, and I lost four pounds in two and a half weeks, which was fabulous. Then my daughter's birthday hit. It was her 18th birthday. We went out to dinner and I like, or we actually just went to lunch and I like went whole hog. I was like, my daughter only turns 18 once. You celebrate, that's what it's all about, right? You eat right during the week and then if you have to have a cheat day, you do that. So I ate amaretto cheesecake and then the next day I did that Popeye's mukbang and then all this week we've had workers at our house painting. And so I just, I haven't exercised and I have not eaten right. Like I've eaten really, really yesterday. I ate two blueberry donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. So this morning I was like, all right, we have to start again. It's gonna be okay. Let's just go ahead and weigh and see what the damage is. I really honestly thought that I had gained back all the weight. You guys, I lost 1.2 pounds. No idea, didn't exercise. No idea how I did it, um, but I did, and I'm not complaining about it. So I'm down 5.2 pounds. I'm starting to feel it a little bit in my pants, which is nice. I'm trying to drink a lot of water today. But I haven't had breakfast, and it's probably like 12.30 now. So I think I'm gonna get some lunch before I go home. Um, I do straight up like calories in, calories out. I don't manage like macros or pay attention to fats and carbs and all of that. I just do straight calories in, calories out, and it works for me. So I know two things that I can get out that both sound really good that are pretty low calorie wise that fit into the amount that I'm eating. I'm eating plenty. I'm not gonna share any of that because everybody's calorie intake should be different. You have to talk to your doctor. Um, but either the Chick-fil-A chicken tortilla soup, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know that's one of my favorite things. Or we have a honey baked ham store not too far away and they have the best bean soup. It has all these different kind of beans and it has chunks of ham. It's so good, it's so good and it's very filling um, and it's fairly low calories for what it is. So I'm gonna go get one of two of those soups and then head on back to the house and take everything out. Okay, so I thought I would show you a couple of the things that I had bought to go over on this console. I did plant my plant and it looks so pretty. I love it. Um, I got this from Kirkland's. The bag's gonna fall, hang on. So this is the jar. It's huge, I'm gonna set it up on my knee. But see how it's got this rope handle? I thought these two would play off of each other. So I would sit this one in front of here and then, um, maybe do a little candle and do a little trio because I know when you're decorating, you should do things in like odd numbers. So on one side of the console, I think that I'm gonna do that. And then on the other side of the console, I'm going to do this. This bowl actually matches that big jug. Isn't it pretty? This big white bowl with the handles. And then I just got some of these like ball things made of raffia and I thought I would just set them in here. Probably won't use all of them, but I'm gonna do that on the other side and it'll be simple and easy. It will look put together and hopefully that will deter us from making a mess over there. I don't know, <laughs> maybe not. My husband tends to take off his clothes and just put them, set them not on the floor, but on any other surface. <laughs> Bless his heart. And then I picked up some pillows. I'm gonna change the wreath. I wanna do a whole change up of this bedroom, um, but I think it's gonna be a little while. We just painted the outside of our house. I wanna do a couple other things outside and then maybe in the fall, have them come and paint the inside of our house. We gotta kind of recoup the finances after you know, the house painting. But I um, thought it would be nice to just bring some pops of green. So I got this pillow at Kirkland's. I'll link everything below that I've been talking about and this pillow. So I thought on the bed, I have a wreath that's more floral. I think it's like um, Japanese cherry blossoms or something. So I'm gonna stick that up there just to freshen it up. And that is what I'm gonna do now. I have a couple other things to show you, but I'm gonna go ahead and open all this, get it put away. I emptied those new glasses into the dishwasher so we could wash those and um, ate my bean soup. That was so Good. If you've never had the bean soup and you like bean soup from um, the Honey Baked Ham store, it's so good. All right, so here is the finished product. I do like the way it turned out. I'm hoping my TV is not that dirty and it's just 
glare from the light. I don't know. I probably need to wipe it down though. This paint is 18 years old. I get a ton of people asking what it is and I do not remember the color. I'm going to try and match it when we repaint because um, I think I want to keep the bedroom this color unless somebody talks me into something else because I just like it. It's serene and easy. Um, I do need to find baskets. There's four shelves um, in this little holder and I haven't been able to find the right texture and size that I need. So I'm looking for those. And then I think I'm going to put a sign right here. Something easy, forgive my nails, something easy, but cute for the bedroom, like always kiss me goodnight or something to sort of fill up that space. And then I'm going to take and get a tree for this wall over here and maybe let the tree hang just a little bit. So it kind of fills in this space. So we're starting small, we'll get baskets, we'll get a sign, we'll get a tree. And slowly but surely, I'll start tying this together. I just feel like because this room is my office and our bedroom and my filming space, it just is always, it's just always junky. And I'm trying to, um, to change that a little. So there you go. All right, so let's talk about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for both the creative and the curious. So whether you're a lifelong learner and you're constantly wanting to learn new things or you're a professional who wants to hone in on a certain skill to help build your business, Skillshare is going to be for you. They have thousands of classes and workshops for you to take anything from freelance and design to photography and cooking to lifestyle and everything in between. No joke, you guys, I went up to the search bar and just started typing in topics and I found multiple classes for every topic that I came up with. So there truly is something for everyone. And the best part is there are no ads. Another thing that I really enjoy is I tend to find a professor, an instructor, a teacher that I like, and then I will take all of the classes that they teach. And what I have noticed is with Skillshare, a lot of the same um, instructors will teach multiple classes. So that's a win for me. So as you saw earlier in the vlog, I picked up a house plant and it was inspired by this class I took by Mark Shorter. It's called House Plants for Beginners and How to Take Care of Them. And truly he goes through eight different house plants that are hardy and perfect for the beginner. So you're not going to see failure and you can actually bring the outdoors into your house. I love that. But what I also thought I would do is just run through the homepage really quickly and show you the variety of different classes you can take. This is just a drop in the bucket, but there's one called How to Declutter and Organize Any Space. They know me so well because it's in my recommended feed. There's one interior design for beginners. That's definitely up my alley. Um, learning how to draw is something that's always been on my bucket list, but I don't feel super confident in it. I just feel like I'm going to fail, but I think I want to dip my toe in there. If there's any of these classes that you are looking at that you are interested in, let me know below. I love that Create Your Productivity System. That's on my list too. So lots for everyone. All right, what's best about Skillshare is you can get a premium membership for less than $10 a month. So if you wanna learn something today that you didn't know how to do yesterday, Skillshare is going to be for you. But better yet, they are offering my subscribers a free trial premium membership. So if you wanna hop on, kind of look around, take a few classes and see if it's a good fit for you, go ahead and click the link down below. And I hope that you enjoyed this part of the video and thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring. All right, so I went ahead and put the wreath up. This wreath I've had probably three or four years. I think it came from Joann's and I added the green pillows to my bed and I figured it wasn't a Christy video unless I did a little unboxing. I got my Erin Condren seasonal surprise box in the mail a couple of weeks ago and I haven't had time to open it. So I thought we would do it really quickly. This box sells out super fast. I did put it on my community tab that it was available. It only comes out spring, summer, winter, and fall. And Erin Condren does planner supplies, stickers, pins, stationary, notepads, sticky notes, that kind of stuff, but it's a little higher priced. This box is $40 a quarter and it gives you at least $80 worth of product. Some things are exclusive to the box, some things are brand new to Erin Condren, and some things are on the website currently. So that's what the box looks like. And when you open it up, ooh, this is pretty, it says somewhere over the rainbow is a new beginning waiting for you. What's cool about these boxes, or you can turn them inside out and make your box pretty. So like your shipping label is not on the front and everything. So if you need a little storage box, that one's gorgeous. And it says new growth, new beginnings. All right, and the first thing in here says, somewhere over the rainbow is a new beginning waiting for you. This is a daily focus journal. That's really pretty. 
Let me put my glasses on here. Um, it says stories I'm letting go, other things I'm letting go, routine, routine, routines, I can speak, I'm letting go, a brainstorm section, things you wanna focus on, and then it goes into the week, what I focused on today, how I'm feeling today, what brought me joy today. Oh, every day it gives you something else, how I took care of myself today, how was I compassionate to myself today, how I recharge today. This is really cool. I'm not a big journal girl. I don't know why. I just don't love it. But I think with prompts, something like this, I definitely think would be easy to do. So I'm going to give it a whirl. It says that is the Daily Focus Journal and it's $20 and it's exclusive to the box. Then we got this really cute little mesh tote. I love this pattern and I love the coral. Isn't that pretty? So whether you take this to a farmer's market or to your local grocery store and put produce in it, I think it's great. One thing that I love, sometimes I don't like mesh bags that are totally mesh. I like that the bottom is solid so things can't fall through. That's nice. Okay, it says that that is the mid-century circles, which is the pattern, mesh tote, and it's exclusive to the box, and it's $16. Okay, the next item in here is a sunglasses and mask chain. Oh, that's pretty. You see it in there? It says that this is a $16 value and it is exclusive to the box. I don't know if I would wear a mask chain, maybe a sunglass chain though. So that's probably what I use it for, All right? The next item in here is this little notepad. It says plan on it. Oh, you know I love a good to-do list. I love it. It says that this is the daily planning notepad. It's a sneak peek, so something to come to their website, and it's $10. Mm, my heart's pitter-pattering because we've got some pens. I will say Erin Condren has great, great pens. Okay, it says that these are the gemstone fine tip markers for $9.50. I write with these markers, the fine tip and the, the round tip quite often. So we got those. We got, these are vegan leather adhesive tabs. Oh, these are cool. So you actually put the tabs in your journal. Well, I guess you wouldn't have to do it in your journal. You could do them anywhere, but they're embossed in gold with each month. Oh, these are really cool. And they do look like a vegan leather. I've never seen them do anything like this before. Maybe they have. It's an exclusive color, so it isn't something new. And they're $5.50. I like that. And then last but not least, we got the sticker pack. It says that these are $9. And is there just one of these? Are they just they're kind of boring? Usually they do really pretty. I mean, not that these aren't pretty, but they're so plain. I mean, you can put them in your planner and write on them, but usually they do like something functional and then they do something beautiful with like shapes and shells and fun things for the season. I mean, I'll use these for sure, but they don't make my heart go pitter patter. So there you go. Not everything has to do that though. And those were a $9 value. All right, so that was my Erin Condren box. I did like it. I think I will use everything, even these. Um, I'm definitely gonna try that journal. I think the cover of the journal is just so pretty. I love it. All right, so that was my box. I will let you know when the summer box comes if you're interested. Now I think I'm gonna go film some other videos that aren't gonna be on this video because I need to keep things moving on the channel. So I will come back after I've walked and just run you through um, the dinner really quickly. All right, so here are the sheet pan fajitas all ready to go in the oven. I just did a yellow or an orange, a yellow, and a red pepper with an entire onion because my husband loves onion and some chicken tenders. I drizzled it with olive oil, threw on some taco seasoning, kind of mixed it up a little bit. And this is going to go in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes or until the chicken is done. And let me tell you, this is so good. And like I said earlier in the video, you can get that Tyson pre-cooked chicken or you can do steak with this. Um, there's a lot of combinations and it's always delicious.
All right, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. I wanted to say I had a really good time hanging out with you. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. If you do, let me know down below. I'm trying to mix things up, keep you guys on your toes. Uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, you can click the link down below to get your free trial membership to check out a couple of classes and see if it's a good fit. I think you're really going to like it. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.